This Jonathan Majors debacle is so multifaceted. Did you all know that he has a nine-year-old biracial daughter who supposedly lives in Atlanta with her mother that he visits occasionally? Well, he does. He gave an interview to People magazine saying that the daughter was having issues with her hair because, as he puts it, it grows straight up as opposed to that of her mother's. Of course, him being the visionary that Hollywood has hailed him to be, let her know that her hair grows that way because it's a crown. How prolific. Anyway, that's not the story. A filmmaker, A.B. Allen, once said that Majors was, quote, a vicious, cruel, abusive human being, both professionally and in his personal life. When the news was released about Majors, a Twitter user screenshot the old post about the actor. And Allen, the filmmaker, responded with, ding, ding, ding. He added that the specifics of what I know, unfortunately, would still expose people who have been hurt and deserve to not become part of some larger media inquiry if they don't want to. So I'm not going to get into the details, but now y'all know what his deal is. So another man identified as Tim Nikolai stated that, quote, he is a sociopath and an abuser and that this is how virtually everyone speaks about him. It's a shame it took this long for him to be reported. Finally, to prove his innocence, Majors released the text messages sent by the woman identified as his girlfriend. Pause to read. Now, these text messages to me proves the complete opposite. Additionally, I'm not saying he's Ike Turner, but he's definitely acting Ikeish. According to what people say, they know about him. Of course, all of this information is alleged and, as they say, innocent until proven guilty. As Kiki Palmer once said, Sorry to this man. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Take care.